everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Blessy. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to do a really exciting unboxing for you guys. This is what I picked up from Gucci when I went to Florence recently with my mum. I did vlog this trip, so the vlog for it will be up live soon. I'm still working on it, but I thought I would show you guys what I got first. So we'll unbox this first and then I'll tell you a little bit of story behind the purchase and the thought process and how it all came together. So yes, without further ado, let's get into it. In my opinion, I think this is the most special Gucci handbag. So without further ado, here is the iconic Gucci Bamboo 1947 top handle bag in the size small. Guys, can we just take a moment to appreciate the stunning craftsmanship and the colour of this handbag. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the bag itself. Um, it has this bamboo turn lock which uh, is just so ideal because it's really easy open and closure. Um, inside I have the crossbody strap. This is one of the two crossbody straps that you get with this bag. I'll show you the other one in a second. Then inside we have a really good amount of space. Um, I can fit a lot in there. It comes with a back pocket uh, with a zip and then at the front it has this small compartment with a little press button and inside there we have a little holder for the mirror that the bag comes with and it's just really handy to have this but of course if you wanted to use this little card holder just for your cards you know you could do that too because the mirror is quite heavy so I can't really see myself carrying around the mirror and honestly I can fit quite a bit in there so I'm really pleased about that. Another thing that I really love about this bag is the fact that the crossbody strap has this really easy crocodile clip so it's really easy to put them on and take them off according to how you want to use your bag on the day but the reason why I absolutely fell in love with this bag is because it doesn't really have any logos that other Gucci bags have. I more and more am going into bags and accessories and belts that don't have the big branding. I've gone off lettering so any you know GG bags that I actually have owned in the past, the Gucci Marmont, I absolutely loved that bag so much. I used it nearly every single day for about four years, four to five years, and I, I loved it and then I actually sold it on and it found a new home. But the reason why I love this bag is that I know that I won't get bored of any logos like I did with the Gucci Marmont bag and the fact that it has this natural bamboo, I just feel like it's just another added beauty to the bag that you don't really see a lot. Also, not many people have this bag and that's probably because it is a really unique bag um, and the price point as well is a little bit on the higher side for a Gucci bag but I really think it's absolutely timeless and guys when I bought this bag I didn't realize it was the first ever Gucci bag that they brought out and the store I bought it from was the first ever Gucci store so while I was in there the essay told me and I think it just added to the whole experience of buying this special bag. Um, it's such an iconic bag, it's such a classic. They've obviously brought it back and tweaked it and modernized it a little bit, but I feel like it's a bag that will just last me so well. It's never going to age when it comes to like style and fashion. Um, I feel like it's just such a classic and I'm definitely moving more towards classic pieces because the world that we live in now, where things are getting more and more expensive, you don't want to put your money or especially me I don't want to put my money into something that's only going to last me a few years especially a designer and uh, like a luxury item so for me it was completely worth it because this is going to be a timeless piece in my collection and I for a while had been looking for a brown bag but for me, I'm really fussy with the kind of brown because I don't feel like tan suits me. So I really loved the colour of this bag. It's this beautiful chocolate brown that I think really works well with my hair and my skin. And you'll have to let me know what you think. It's actually a little bit heavy. It's definitely heavier than I thought it was. So if I'm carrying around this bag 
like the whole day I definitely feel it on my arm but sometimes I don't know if you'll agree when something is premium like the weight of it matters inside is linen and I'm glad is linen because if it was leather it would have made this bag even more heavier so I really don't mind the linen inside but yes it definitely feels premium and I love the versatility of this bag you can wear it crossbody let me quickly show you the other strap that the bag comes with so I I really don't see myself using this um, belt that often because it's really loud and it's very Gucci and I just feel like because this bag is such a classic elegant and simple style I just feel like this just just doesn't work that well for me but you know if you had like more of an edgy style then I think this would look really really cool you could also use this strap as like a belt um I think that could look really amazing and again the, the strap has these crocodile clips this bag first came on my radar earlier this year when they brought it back and all the influencers were you know styling it over on Instagram I liked it I didn't love it but when I went into the store to look at another Gucci bag I tried this on I'll put the picture up of me trying on the two different bags and I didn't buy it that day of course but when I went back home and I asked family and friends they all voted for this bag it was just so much more my style and so much more classic and I agreed but because it was like a pricier bag I really had to give it a good thought and I had to make sure that it was the right decision for me because I am usually someone who gives it at least like two to three months uh, for a big purchase like this but I waited and in the end I just knew I really really wanted this bag and when me and mum went to Italy I just knew that I needed to buy this bag but the fact that I bought it from the first ever Gucci store and it happened to be the first ever Gucci bag just makes it so much more iconic and special uh, you can't really buy this bag online but when you call up or you go into a store they will usually have availability for it I think that's another thing about buying from Gucci that I really love is that like their items are more readily available and let's face it it's not really a luxury experience if you've got a chase for an item or you have to queue up for it you know it just doesn't feel part of like the special experience it's a very structured bag so I know it's not gonna lose its shape it is calf skin I don't baby my bags but Gucci bags are really well made out of all the designer leather bags that I've owned I've owned Gucci bags the most and I have to say I've like worn them I've loved them for a very long time and none of them have fallen apart on me it just feels just so premium and luxurious and the leather itself is just so smooth and buttery I had a, um, a bag from another designer and it had a top handle and the top handle literally squeaked so badly and I'm happy to announce that this one doesn't squeak um which is a good sign i'm going on another trip this week i just really wanted to show you guys this bag um because i want to post lots of pictures in it on my next trip i absolutely love this bag i hope you like it too and you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments down below i'm actually going to show you what else i bought from florence italy as well because in my vlog i didn't get to show you guys what i bought um from like around the city they packed it up so nicely and because we were traveling i couldn't really unpack i didn't want to like risk unpacking and damaging the items so the first item is this beautiful beautiful little leather tray I have just been using this on my bedside table for jewelry and it's actually the same color as my bag I honestly like love this color leather this is just from one of the leather stores around the city there are so many like countless amounts of leather stores leather accessories and bags and shoes like incredible craftsmanship and quality items around the city like in different shops so if you want to buy amazing leather pieces i definitely recommend going to florence next up i picked up these beautiful clay plates so we were walking through the city on our first day on our way to watch the sunset when we came across this little fair that was there for just two days where our 
artists were selling their handmade clay pieces and guys just look at the color of this plate so it's got this kind of cracked effect don't ask me how they achieve it but it has to be done with like specific precision i just feel like it's just so beautiful and authentic i love the little bit of irregular shape it has it's just really nice to buy something from a local it's something that i'll have forever so i bought this from one artist then i found these little chopstick holders that look like stingray without a tail and they perfectly match the plate so how amazing then i bought this this little olive tray you can put the toothpicks in there I just haven't seen anything like this before of course a really unique beautiful leaf shape you can put your olives all the way around it came in a bigger size as well but I think this was perfect for us and what trip is complete without a fridge magnet so yeah I bought this one which says Firenze which is the Italian name for Florence and yeah that's what I bought. I thought I would show you the little things I picked up from Italy as well as my special, iconic, beautiful bamboo bag. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And please don't forget to subscribe as well because my Florence vlog will be going live soon and I don't want you to miss it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!